sex. Nowadays, Americans tell surveys they have it nine fewer times a year than back in the 90s. So what explains the current national explosion in sexually transmitted diseases? Chlamydia up 21 percent last year, gonorrhea up 67 percent, syphilis up 76 percent. 2.3 million cases total, the CDC says. People nowadays are more reliant on birth control methods and think that STDs have been more eradicated and don't feel like like they have to use contraception, I mean, uh, like, like a condom. condoms for the purpose of protecting themselves from STDs, but rather from pregnancy is more important to them. STIs and STDs aren't as much of a concern now as they might have been a long time ago, so people might just be having more unprotected sex because they think they're safer. Because they can just go get a shot or a pill? Maybe. I don't know. Less sex, more STDs. Why is that? I think the first thing to remember is that you only need one time to transmit an STD. You don't have to have lots of partners to get an STD. All you need is one partner who's infected. The dean of Rutgers School of Public Health points to high poverty levels and poor sex education standards as mutual culprits. I think when people think about sex, they think about two things. They think about HIV and they think about pregnancy. Gonorrhea, syphilis, chlamydia doesn't, doesn't cross their mind. They don't know that these diseases can be, some of them can be transmitted orally. In New Jersey, where infection rates for all three common STDs have also spiked from 8 to 46 percent since 2012, he also finds a correlation between unprotected sex and the drug epidemic. If somebody has a lot of self-confidence in using a condom, they will use a condom. What those models tend to forget is that when people have two drinks or use opioids or do meth, that all rational decision making goes out the door. All right, and so drugs are a huge factor in perpetuating the STD rates that we continue to see in our country. The CDC recommends adults get tested for STDs once a year or if they start a new sexual relationship. New Jersey's 17 Planned Parenthood clinics started offering free STD testing back in April and will continue through September. So far, they've tested 17,000 patients. So we have been offering, on average, 2,000 tests a week, which is a 40% increase compared to last summer. So this is huge numbers of people that have been coming in. Access and education are two of the biggest reasons why STDs may continue to be going up. So what can you do? Get tested. And if you do get frisky, use protection. In Hackensack, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.